So I read Sam Harris's The Moral Landscape, which was a very good book, even though it was lacking in one thing. But it was overall a very, very good book. And part of my judgment on a book goes into basically the length of their notes and sources section. Because if you're someone like, there are a few books I've read where they write a book and there's absolutely nothing to it. Um, there, There's, like, I've read the whole book, Um, actually, if, of, of the I Zing by Laura Ingram was one of them, where I read the book and I felt dumber reading it or after reading it, because it taught me nothing. Like, I just felt betrayed because it was a total waste of my time, because it was all opinions, no um, no facts or anything. Um, whereas this book is the total opposite, where it is nothing but sources. Like, I believe it's page 193, which is where the actual book ends. And then page 273 is where the index starts. So between then is all notes and references. And I read all the notes of every book I read, and I recommend you do it, because there's a lot of good stuff in there. And I always skim through the references to find any other stuff worth reading. Um, it was good. Like, it was really good. Um, like, I learned a lot from this book. And he's, like, the subtitle is um, How Science Can Determine um, Human Values, I believe, or Moral Values. Something like that. But the whole point is just to say, yeah, like, you can have morality without religion. And that's very important. Like, whether you're religious or not, like, this is not, like, you don't have to be religious or not religious to accept this. This is something that I think is true, that, like, if you were to remove any form of religion, it's not that, uh, that, that, that brings the next question, actually, whether, like, say we got rid of, or say we never had religion, would morality develop? Well, I think religion can be influential in creating a good system of moral values, but it is not the only thing that can do that, that you can... Just look at reality around you. You can use logic and reason and all that stuff to say, here's a good system of moral values. And Sam Harris kind of lightly touched on it. because his, his whole thing was on how we can determine moral values and um, why people that say we can't are wrong. And he goes into basically laying the very, very foundation. Like, not even the foundation, but just below that, <laughs> if there is such a thing. Um, he just goes, skims the very bottom of, I'm not saying this is a bad thing, but it just um, talks at the very most basic level, um, the most foundational level of why we can have moral values with science. He doesn't say what they are or what they could be. He just talks about why we could come up with this stuff. So if you're looking for a system of moral values through this book, you're not going to find it. But all he can say is here's a general like guideline we can use. Here's some ways we could figure it out. And he's not wrong. Like he's, It's a great thought-provoking book. And I have to say, like, I agree with him on that. Like, you can have moral values like that um, just through reason and all that. And he goes through, like, especially he's a neuroscientist. So he goes through, like, again, the sources pages are so long. He goes through all these different studies of, hey, we can figure out this using brain patterns, this, this, this. He goes into the whole, um, like, what makes a psychopath? Um, what is the difference between psychopaths who seem to have, like, no, no empathy and a regular person? He goes through all that. Now, I would recommend on top of this, like, because you'll probably finish this and thinking, well, where's the system of moral values? I learned that we can have one, but I didn't learn about one. Stefan Molyneux's universally preferable behavior. Now, most people are going to be like, holy crap, Stefan Molyneux, dear God. I like his stuff. But UPB, I mean, you don't have to like him. It's just, like, it's logical. He, they, I cannot de find a way to debunk it. Um, it's not possible as far as I can tell. Being universally preferable behavior, that is morality without religion there. Like laying it out without relying on, on religion, I should say. It's just that it's a moral system that does not require religion. There we go. But yeah, I'd recommend it. It's a great book, both of those. Um, I really much enjoyed it. And Sam Harris, like, I didn't know much about Sam Harris before this, and I know he writes very well. He's well-researched, and even though we are di different parts on the political spectrum, he knows what he's talking about. Like, he is a fantastic guy. But yeah, I highly recommend his stuff. But uh, like the video if you enjoyed. If you've read other books by him, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, subscribe for more, and thanks for watching.